the advanced asset management is a, a, an add-on we have made since we sold our uh, asset management solution to Microsoft. We sold the product to Microsoft and then Microsoft has put it into standard and they really do not develop it anymore. They just say, okay, this is a good fit for a lot of customers. And then as it is with all the Microsoft modules, there are customers or partners that actually extend those modules. Uh, that's the same for sales, for payroll, for all the other uh, HR modules that are partners that specialize in the different modules. And we are in the maintenance uh, module, we are the specialist, and that's why we have that on there. Recent projects, recent implementations, I have, they always include advanced asset management because it's a, it's also like being a member of this exclusive club where you go in and you can actually benefit from, from of course, the expertise that we have and, uh, and the feedback from, from, from all of our customers that you can actually ask us to do the, uh, do the development and put it into our standard product instead of you uh, creating modifications because modifications are really heavy in terms of cost, in terms of testing and such. So what we do is actually we collect the feedback, we review it, talk to our developers and solution architects, and then we improve the standard product with to the benefit of all the the customers that, that, that are using advanced asset management. And uh, what we also see is that on, on this journey that the customer is taking, they may have AM, which is standard in dynamics, and they will start with the basics. And gradually they will move and they will ask for these features for which we, we have in advanced asset management and then evolve from there and see, look, we need the mobile execution part, we need the planning, maybe analytics. So it's, uh, it's just, uh, it's a journey for them. It's a journey of, of, of gradually adopting the, the product. But there, there's a couple of features in that advanced asset management just about everybody's going to want. They might not want the first, you know, 20, but they might want the last 10. But they're all stuff that's been given to us by customers. The problem is this is hard to, it's hard to explain to customers. We have this collection of functionalities. Some you'll use, some you won't. But what usually happens is we find just one, one functionality that somebody like has to have and they say, we'll buy it. You know, like, uh, we have a customer up in uh, new England and work order kidding, man, they were like, we got to have that. You know, they'll say, you know, the tool crib is awesome. We don't lose tools anymore. And our tools are expensive. They're $500 a tool. We used to lose, you know, 15 a year. Now we use, we lose two a year, you know? Yeah, you're probably only going to use a subset of those features, but you know, maybe now you have all those features just available to you and maybe down the road you'll start using more of them, you know. 